right, greetings, my fellow human beings. We are live. This is Live Free or Die, and I'm your host, Eli King, reporting to you from deep inside the heart of FEMA region number two here in Manhattan, New York City. All right, it's a hot one today, and I came down here. I probably lost my job coming down here, but liberty and freedom comes first. And today we have a very special guest. We have the, the Reverend Dr. Red... Uh, Reverend Conrad. Uh, let's see if we can get him on. We have him on Skype. Let's unmute him here. All right. Everybody, let's welcome the Reverend. Uh, Reverend, welcome to the show. Uh, we are live. And... Uh, Give people a, a quick rundown about, you know, where you're from and what your, your ministry is about. Uh, quick two-minute synopsis, I guess. Go ahead. Hi, well, I originally come from uh, Long Island, New York, now down in uh, Florida. Uh, and basically what my ministry is about is returning Christianity to its root form, because today is, there's approximately 33,000 different denominations, in my opinion, why is my message coming up? Uh, in my opinion, these different denominations put nothing but a heresy, and I'm trying to bring, it, bring everything back, and I personally feel that uh, by going in corporate, I will not be allowed to preach the whole message of the Bible or politics, so I decided to not incorporate and, and remain a free church so I can do what I feel God sent me to do. Absolutely. All right. All right. If you want any information, come on. Uh, my website is uh, spiritualmissileministries.org if anybody wants any further information. All right. Uh, I'll let you have uh, more of the floor a little bit later. Before, uh, but before we get to that, uh, let, let's get to some news. Um, have you heard about this, Reverend? Um, we have a uh, UFO at the bottom of the Baltic Sea cuts off electrical equipment when divers get within 200 meters of it. This is from the Daily Mail. It was written on June 27th. Uh, it says, The divers exploring a UFO-shaped object at the bottom of the Baltic Sea say their equipment stops working when they approach within 200 meters. They are quoted as saying, Anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, uh, will be stopped when working when they're above the object when they get about 200 meters. Um, do you believe in UFOs or extraterrestrial life, Reverend? Uh, yes, I do. Not sound crazy. No, that's okay. Um, and that specific incident, I didn't hear anything about until now. But I have uh, heard about UFOs underneath there. Um, I, f I forget the organization that went out investigating that. Um, they're actually following a cable that somehow connects back to the United States Navy, even though the Navy was denying that it was theirs. And they tried following it, and they had equipment failures, and they got too close to it, and it would go they along the seabed and until it got to this drop, where the, the seabed just went straight down. And they tried get, getting their uh, submersives down under there, but it wouldn't be able to, it, was, it couldn't go too far before the, the light wasn't bright enough, and they couldn't really see what exactly was down there. But they believe that there's some kind of uh, UFO phenomenon going on, and they believe that the Navy has some kind of connection with these extraterrestrials, and that's why we have all this uh, technology the military seems to have, why it advanced so, so far. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing stuff here, yeah. Uh, some people actually believe that the, the angels were extraterrestrials. I was watching something on the History Channel. Yeah, it, it really gets deep. All right, let's move on to this next article, Rev. CNN sinks to a 21-year primetime ratings low. You know all the mainstream media. They, they're all dying, dinosaur, disinformation, pieces of crap. Excuse my language, Reverend. But um, CNN and all these mainstream media outlets, their ratings are plummeting, and shows like mine and yours they, they are on the rise. So um, what's your take on the mainstream media and those pieces of garbage, Rev? Oh, my take on mainstream media is that they're owned, well, they are owned by the CIA. Uh, 
named George Soros or, or it came out where he owns CNN, MSNBC, and uh, what was the other one? I forget the other one that he said that he owns. And they're pretty much a propaganda. Media Matters. For the, for the, for the, what? Media Matters. He owns Media Matters. But go ahead. Sorry. Uh, but they're pretty much a propaganda machine for the system and for the shadow government. And it's, it's people that are waking up that are turning people like you and, and myself that are looking for the truth because it's unrealized that lamestream media is covering nothing but the nonsense. It, they, they're not getting any facts. It's all entertainment. They're not covering any, any real stories. Now, how often on lamestream media do you hear about the Christian churches blowing up in Nigeria or the uh, Muslim Brotherhood that there's one office in Egypt? You're not going to hear that on CNN or ABC or MSNBC. Or about them burning Christian churches in Syria. Yeah. Nope. The fact that they're kicking out all the all the Assyrians in Iraq. Yeah. It's out of control. For the fact that, uh, granted, I don't, I don't praise Gaddafi or anything, but the fact that A, Gaddafi was replaced by the Muslim Brotherhood, and B, under Gaddafi, Libya was actually doing pretty good. I don't know if you saw any videos of when he was actually in office, but he had everybody ch trying to chase him down, give him high fives as he was pat down on the roads. He was actually sitting up in the, uh, the the sunroof of the vehicle, waving at everybody, everybody praising him. I don't think that's all that much of a bad guy, if you ask me, and the fact that he follows a false religion, but, you know, his people seem to love him. Yeah, this, this guy did amazing things for his country. He actually brought water up from the underground into the desert. He, he you know, where there was plant life all over the desert. It, I'm not saying he was the, the best guy in the world, but, you know, he did some evil stuff. But he was definitely lesser of the, the lesser of two evils between him and Obama. I'd have to say that. And he was systematically assassinated. And uh, he did so much things, so many good things for his people. And now I see Al-Qaeda flags flying in Libya, where uh, everybody knows, well, I know, the CIA controls Al-Qaeda. That's why I call them the al -Qaeda. Uh they, they were created by the CIA. Um, you know, it's just a big mess. All right, let's move on to this next article, Rev. Jonathan Boehner, uh, House will go ahead with contempt vote against, uh, what's his name? Eric Holder, the Attorney General. And uh, you, you know about his uh, Fast and Furious. And also this next article says, ISA confirms Fast and Furious wiretaps. Chairman Daryl ISA has confirmed uh, the, that wiretap applications reveal in depth detail on the Fast and Furious operation, including evidence showing that agents were well aware of large sums of money were being used to purchase a large number of firearms. Are, are you familiar with the Fast and Furious rev? Uh, a little bit. I've been trying to follow as best I can. I heard, uh, from what I followed, I heard that uh, about 200 Mexicans, I believe it was, were slaughtered, and two federal agents, including the well-known Brian Terry, were murdered using weapons from Fast and Furious. That Eric Calder knew about it. Obama knew about it. I actually believe Obama authorized it. Yes, he did. Absolutely, he did. And uh, we're shipping the guns out so they can blame the Second Amendment. And they're shipping the drugs in. Everybody knows the CIA brings the drugs in to uh, lock up our people. Uh, you know, if you're not part of the club, then uh, you're going to jail if you get caught using their products. All right. Let's move on to this next article, Rev. This one is called 15 Reasons Why the Obamacare Decision is a Mind-Blowing Disaster for America. It was a 5-4 decision to uphold Obamacare, and the swing vote uh, was Chief Justice John Roberts, who was appointed by George W. Bush. Uh, I'm going to give you about 10 reasons right now. Uh, number one, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, federal government has the power to force you to buy private goods and services. Uh, let's move on to number two. Obamacare is another step away from individual liberty and another step toward a nanny state where the government dominates our lives from the cradle to the grave and basically being that they pay for your health care they can now tell you what you can eat or what to eat and all this kind of stuff uh, number three the IRS can now look into your medical records and they can hunt you down penalizing you millions of dollars millions uh, you know just to making sure you pay your health insurance 
Uh, number four, Obama imposes more than 20 new taxes on the American people with this Obamacare. Uh, number six, we're skipping through here, Obamacare is going to impose a nightmarish paperwork burdens on doctors, hospitals, and the rest of the health care system. Uh, number seven, Obamacare is going to send health insurance premiums soaring, especially for uh, younger Americans. Number eight, how many small businesses are going to be absolutely crushed by the provisions in Obamacare, forcing these small businesses and companies to buy this health care? Meanwhile, two 2,000 of his uh, homies, I call them, his cronies, McDonald's, Walmart, uh, they, they get waivers. They don't have to buy this health insurance. Uh, Obamacare is going to make the emerging doctor shortage. Uh, doctors are going to leave because their, their pay is going to get low. And uh, what's your take on the whole damn, uh, I hate Obamacare. Give, give me your take on it, Ref. I personally feel Obamacare needs to go, it needs to be repealed. It's been uh, got a nickname, of course, in it as, as the Obama tax. Um, and granted, at first, I didn't agree with Roberts' decision on this at all. But after calming myself down and taking a closer look at it, a couple of things he did do by making the decision he made is he's limited Congress's uh, powers as far as the Commerce Clause. And he pretty much called Obama a monumental liar because Obama went every which way he can to call this not a tax. And Roberts pretty much told him, look, well, Obama is a tax. There's no way to go around that. So he so, kind of destroyed everything there. Yeah, uh, Obamacare is definitely no good. No good. <coughs> All right. Um, Rev, I want to give you the floor now. Uh, you got the floor for the next five minutes. Just uh, send your message to the world. Anything you want to say, spread the word to the millions of Manhattanites. Get your word out. Uh, you got the floor, Rev. Go ahead. All right. Uh, for everybody out there, whether you're an Obama fan, Mitt Romney fan, Ron Paul fan, or whoever you're looking at uh, voting for this election, one thing is for certain, Obama tax needs to be repealed. And I want to let everybody know that uh, myself and my ministries, Christian Messiah Ministries, we are going to be donating a percentage of all proceeds and donations to this ministry to the Mitt Romney campaign and to the repeal of Obama tax. Um, and the reason why I'm not voting for third parties, in case anybody out there is wondering, uh, is because I personally feel uh, that a no vote or a vote for a third party is a sure vote for Obama, and I definitely don't want over four years of Obama. Um, and I don't know how many of you have been watching my videos, I've been posting up on YouTube, so I know a lot of you can tell me that I've been bashing Mitt Romney in the beginning of the primaries. Yeah, that's true. Yes, I still despise him, but unfortunately, right now, America needs him. And there's always next election to get him out of there. We'll be, we can be watching him really closely. And then there's also the fact that we need to make sure that during these, ne these next elections coming up for Senate, we get Republicans in the Senate. With these Democrats, we got to make sure we do whatever we can to get Obama tax repealed. We got to do whatever we can to get our freedoms back. Uh, um, I've noticed a lot of people are bashing NRA. I'm a member of the NRA. NRA is doing everything in their power to the Political Victory Fund to, to uh, get Obama out of power and to secure our Second Amendment rights. Anybody that's out there that doesn't believe what I say, just go to nrapvf.org. All the information is there. What they're trying to do. Um, anybody who is a member of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Please go to go to spiritualmassageministries.org, uh, Google, uh, Google, yeah, that's where my mind's at. In the search bar on, my, on the right side of my website, type in OWS. I have a few articles and a few videos I would like you to watch. Anybody who feels you're a Christian but at the same time you can support OWS, I'm sorry to say you're not a true Christian and the equal sign is not uh, the cross. So Jesus taught us to bear the cross. Um, and if if you look more closely at our Constitution, we were founded on Christian uh, uh, values. So I don't want to hear anybody saying that, there, that there's a separation of church and state to that extent, because there isn't. We were set on Christian values and Christian morals, and that's where I like to see America go back to. That's not going to be done with Obama in office. That's not going to be done with Obama tax in, 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 uh, enacted. And uh, just more one reason why we've got to get Obama tax out, in case nobody knows about this yet. March 23rd, 2013. All American citizens are going to be demanded that we have an RFID 
seeds have been planted in us. It's on page uh, 1,000 of, of Obamacare, if you, read, if you read it. It's covered from, from page 1,000 to, I believe it goes right on through 1,004. Um, the, if you go to the White House uh, website, you can actually download the PDF of the, of the uh, Obamacare and read it all for yourself right there, black and white, so nobody can call me a liar. It's all right there. So now I'm going to ask everybody uh, to do what we can as America and as a nation under God to get America's freedoms back and let's get Obama out of office. Here's from MessiahMinistries.org for more information on uh, any uh, items and services that I'll do when all proceeds now to November are going to get Obama tax repealed. Uh, ReverendDrRed.com for any information on the, the topics I speak on. And if you want to hire me to speak at your next event, whether you're an NRA member, Tea Party, or a local church uh, holding an event that wants to get some truths out there. Wow. Gr great info right there, Rev. Great info. Um, would you like to oh, take some phone minutes. calls? What? Would you like to take some phone calls from the live audience, Rev? If anybody would like to ask me any questions, that's fine. All right, let, let's get the number up. And if anybody wants to ask Dr. Rev Conrad any questions, you can give us a call at 212-245-7273. We are live. It is June 30th, 2012. 212-245-7273. You have any questions for myself or the Rev? Give us a call, please. All right, while we wait and see if anybody calls up, Let's go on to this uh, this article right here. This is from uh, Volteri Network dot uh, org, Volteri Net dot org, and it says the carefully organized Paraguay coup. This is by Nick Nick Andrew. Under Barack Obama's watch, Paraguay's Fernando Lugo is the second Latin American leftist president to have been deposed from office in a scenario orchestrated by his political opponents and very close friends of the U.S. Neil Nick Andrew predicts that this pattern of constitutional soft coups against defiant leaders successfully tested by Washington in Honduras and now Paraguay will be extensively replicated in other countries over the coming years. The insidious interference by Uncle Sam and the domestic affairs of the region will apparently not be relegated to the ash heap of history anytime soon. Um, you know about the uh, the coups like such in Libya, Obama's uh, displacing leaders, uh, Egypt, and now uh, it's even in Paraguay. Uh, you have anything to say about this? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, all this uh, replacement of leaders everywhere has to do with the reconstruction of the Muslim Caliphate. Oh. I don't think it's a... It's, uh, I don't think it's unknown to anybody anymore at this time, time of, of day that uh, Obama, point blank, is a Muslim, for one. And a lot of these leaders over in that region, uh, aside being one of them, were protecting, to some degree, the, the Christian and Jewish populace over there. Well, you can't really create a Muslim caliphate if you got people uh, protecting the Christians and the Jews. So now Obama and the UN are taking it upon themselves to replace them for them. Reconstruct Very true indeed, Reverend. Very true. Very knowledgeable man you are. Uh, it, it's just uh, very disgusting, and I'm very ashamed. And uh, I'm I'm glad I, there are people like you out there, so we can fight and get this country back. You know, we got the Fourth of July coming, uh, and the spirit of 1776 runs through my veins, runs through my body like you cannot believe. Especially around this time of year, I get so excited, and uh, uh, I just hope it doesn't come to another uh, second revolution, uh, because that's what they want. They want a bloodbath, and uh, we need to beat them intellectually before we beat them on the battleground. Anything push for a uh, civil uprising. Um, I, some of our covered recently said that there's actually DHS informant that said that Obama isn't just a civil uprising. Uh, he's not helping to promote it, which I think is 
you know, some of the media you know, people in DHS and the White House are actually going to come out and release this kind of information. Naturally, they wouldn't release their names. Uh, your Skype is kind of breaking up there, Rev. Could you just say that last part again? Yes, we must get the info out. We must not stop. And this is why I do what I do. All right, let's move on to this next article, Reverend. I uh, thank you for hanging in there with me doing this news. Um, this article is from the American Free Press. It, uh, the title is, The Richest Jew in the World Funds Efforts to Oust Obama. The New York Times reported that on June 17th, the, a key ally of Israel, Prime Minister ben, Benjamin Netanyahu, who himself, a close, longtime friend of the GOP candidate Mitt Romney, has said he has prepared to spend $100 million of his own money this year to defeat Obama and re-elect and help elect Republicans. And this, they say this guy is the modern-day Meyer Lansky. Uh, have you heard of this? Uh, actually, I haven't. All right. Well, it seems you have a phone call, Rev. Let's take it and see what they what they want to ask. Uh, Caller, you are on the air. State your name and where you're from. Hello, how you doing, man? Hey, how's it going? What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, yes, um, yeah, I know everyone is talking about this Obamacare, and I know, uh, I know deep down this is not going to be good for America. Absolutely. And what that means is that your government can take control of everything now. With this new Obamacare, that means that can put, drive doctors out of business. That's what this means, right? Uh, I believe so. Rev, what's your take on that? Well, what I think is that it's unconstitutional, all right? And first of all, you know, that it should, you should have a right to choose your own health health plan. And basically what that means, is, and this is going to lead to other things as well, too. All right. You got any questions for the Rev, Steve? Uh, yes. Now, what's your take about if when a government takeover happens? All right, Rev, he said, what's your take about when the government takeover happens? Appreciate the call, Steve. Uh, my take on the government takeover? Um, well, my personal take on the uh, government takeover when it finally happens is, one, like we've seen in history, a lot of the nation is going to just blindly follow like sheep to the slaughter. But there is going to be a small uprising. I do believe that a lot of Americans are beginning to wake up. Uh, since Obama came into office, sales of, of guns and ammunition have skyrocketed. And I believe in this past week, since the uh, SCOTUS um, announced the, that Obama tax is allowed, gun sales hit another small spike there. What is it, like so three, that three million guns a, a month are being sold now, right? That, that's the figure I got, like three million guns a month. Approximately three million, yeah. Wow. Um, so I, I, on top of that, you know, people need to realize, too, that a lot of the military soldiers are not going to go along with Obama. They say that whatever their orders are, they, that's their orders. They would have no problem. Their weapon on their own thing. If it ever comes down to that, that they're going to choose their family and their country over Obama. So there's going to be a split right down the middle. And a lot of uh, vets are starting to wake up and realize that we are now looked at as uh, possible terrorist threats to the government because we have the military training. So a lot of vets are waking up and we're not going to sit back and relax while all this is going on. So uh, my take on the government takeover when it finally happens and gets initiated. Obama and his people are going to be the ones that throw the first punch, but the American people are going to rise up and take our country back. Hopefully, it doesn't come down to the bloodshed, but if it does, I think the American people will win. Absolutely. I'm with you there, brother. I will fight to the death. I will... What's the old saying? 
I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. And if you want my guns, you're gonna have to pry them out of my cold, dead hands. You want my children, you're gonna have to pry them out of my cold, dead hands. You want me to go to a FEMA camp, you're gonna have to drag me there, my cold, dead body over there, because I'm not going willingly. All right, let's go on to this next article, Rev. Uh, we're almost out of time. Media whitewashes Olympic security scandal. A British news channel, ITV, has whitewashed the Olympic security scandal. Basically, uh, a reporter, Lee Hazelton, an undercover journalist who infiltrated the, the Olympic security detail, saying there's a bunch of security lapses, and they have all these caskets and coffins, and there possibly may be a false flag attack at the Olympics. What do you think, Rev? I believe that a false flag attack on the Olympic Stadium is very possible, uh, especially considering <clears throat> um, the best way as history shows, particularly in Nazi Germany, the best way to take over a nation is through a false flag attack. And considering the Olympic Stadium is actually built right on top of an old nuclear power plant, it won't be that hard at all for the, for the power elite to make it look like a nuclear attack on the Olympics. Blame no. some terrorist Organizations swoop right in and take all the power. Take control, take control. Uh, I feel that it's a very high possibility of that happening. All right, we got about a minute left. Let's get to this last article. U.S. Army admits troops conducting law enforcement is illegal, yet it continues to happen across the country. What's your take on the uh, police or the military being used as police around the nation now? Really quick, we got about 30 seconds. The police euthanasia? Uh, the, the, poli uh, the military being used as a police force around the U.S. Oh, I heard briefly about that, and I, I think that one is unconstitutional, and B goes against our rights. The military is only supposed to be used to protect our borders and fight war wars to protect this country. That's why we have local police departments. All right, Rev. Hey, listen, we're, we're out of time. Uh... I thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully we can have you on again. Until then, people, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, God bless America. God save the Constitution. And if you have received this transmission, then you are the resistance.